Hello, hi, glad that you are with us today and you're joining us in this month of miracles. Today, we're going to focus on praying for our building project which uh, in Manchester, which is building our new cathedral. It's going to be absolutely epic. I want to share a few verse, uh, one verse with you and then a few points around that and then give you a few things to pray for. Um, anyway, if you can join us 7 and 7 uh, live on Zoom, that'd be amazing. Check out uh, the Prayer Plus website as well for other opportunities when you can pray with people. That'd be brilliant. So here we go. This is today's verse. It is Matthew 16, 18. And it's Jesus speaking just after um, his disciple, his friend Peter had went, I know who you are. You're the Messiah. You are Jesus. And he says this, he says, Jesus says to him, he says, and I tell you that you are Peter. He probably previously had been called Simon, which meant a bit wavy. You are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not overcome it. It's a great verse. In 2018, I actually had the privilege of visiting that site and it's nothing like I had originally imagined it would be. I imagined it would be really deserty and um, there'd be one big rock and that's where it was. But it was actually, it was on the edge of a beautiful lake um, and there was greenery everywhere and it was just stunning. It was a great location and I can imagine, imagine Jesus standing there and Peter, and then I can imagine Peter kind of looking going, I'm called Peter now, and you think I'm a rock? And you're going to build the church on me? It's a funny moment, but what it talks to me of is this. Number one, it's a partnership. Building his church is a partnership. Spreading his gospel is a partnership. As you read the gospels, you'll see that Peter did everything he could to advance the kingdom of God. And that's what we're doing here in Manchester. We're doing everything we can to get this building up to make Jesus known all across our um, city and beyond. You see, what Peter did was he did what he could do. And then the next part was Jesus is going to do what he can do. It even goes so far as to say, I will build my church. Remember, that's Jesus speaking. I will build it. We've got to do what we can do. And Jesus is going to do what he can do. Let me explain. If we didn't put in planning permission, get an architect to draw the drawings, if we as the congregation didn't give into it, Jesus was not going to magically, in his supernatural power, construct a church on that site. I mean a physical building with bricks and mortar. We've got to do what we've got to do. And we want to thank you right now for your giving, for your prayers, for everything that you've been doing to help that happen. But remember, I don't know if you know about the story of how we acquired that site in Manchester. It was a proper partnership in together. You see, we all got together and we all gave and loads of people came down and we all um, painted and moved things and knocked walls down and it was excellent. We did what we could do, but there were some moments that we needed Jesus to turn up. It was literally at some points, at one point when our funder pulled out, we were probably only 30 minutes away from not having that building. But what had happened was Pastor Glenn had listened to God, not in conjunction with the building, done something and asked us to start giving into a specific ministry. Because we gave into that specific ministry, helping a specific people group with um, getting to know Jesus, when we had an out of the blue phone call, from a person we did not know who said, I hear you might need some finance for your building project. That was, it wasn't our business plans that that, that um, helped him, although they did help him. It was the answer to this one question regarding that people group. It was absolutely outstanding. And we've got to continue working like that. So we want to see the supernatural happen in this building project. We want to see some amazing things happen. We're looking for supernatural to be all through the building project. Supernatural provision, supernatural wisdom in meetings, supernatural favour, supernatural connections and supernatural salvation happening at, at the end of the day. We've got to do what we can do, but Jesus is going to build his church. We're partnering with him. We listen, we act on his leadings, we pray, we give, we believe. And Jesus is going to turn up and do something utterly outstanding. So 
We'd love you to pray for supernatural provision, supernatural wisdom, supernatural favour and supernatural connections, resulting in a supernatural number of salvations. It's brilliant partnering with you, Church. We love being on this journey with you. Thank you very much for everything you've been doing. And uh, if you can join us at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. to pray for this, that would be amazing. Uh, Zoom links are on the Prayer Plus website. Um, see you there. I'm going to pray for you that you have an outstanding day today. Father, thank you for everybody in the church and for what they're doing. And today we ask that you will speak louder than ever before, that you will become really, really evident and uh, to everybody as they go about their day. We pray that you will use each member of our congregation to build your kingdom, to build your church. And Father, we ask that you will open our ears and eyes and hearts to what you are asking us to do. Bless everybody who is listening to this. Bless everybody in our church. We pray in your name. Amen. Love you, church. You're amazing.